Well, the Super Bowl season is upon us, so I thought I'd turn back the page and review a string of commercials in the 1980s that aired only during the Super Bowl, and those were called the Bud Bowl. In 1989, beer company Budweiser tried out a new marketing campaign of Super Bowl commercials that would feature beer bottles playing football. This Budweiser football game, dubbed the Bud Bowl, was a stop-motion skit of Budweiser facing off against contender Bud Light. Now, the actual Bud Bowl contained seven different segments that made up the entire game, and those aired during the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, and even halftime. Hey! And each new commercial shown would continue the game of Bud teams trying to score touchdowns. After the Super Bowl had aired, this simple little concept ended up stealing the show. So much so that the following year, Budweiser came back with Bud Bowl 2. And the hijinks kept on coming, that would ultimately lead up to a crazy snowstorm that overtook the game by the end. By this time, Budweiser was on fire with this idea. Bud Bowl 3 not only brought newcomer Bud Dry into the game, but also actual announcers that hosted the event. And of course, who could forget those crazy cutscenes? Players chasing each other with bottle openers, hiding footballs underneath their labels, and even the band marching onto the field before the game actually ended. Classic. Now, Bud Bowl 4 is where things really took a turn for the weird. At this point, everybody was anticipating the next Bud Bowl, but instead of giving us an actual game, they gave us some damn idiot running around looking for his ticket? What the hell's this crap? Yep, that's right. 20 years later, and I'm still pissed. And that also meant five continuing commercials of pure garbage. Yeah, I hope you fall and die, you jackass. Well, Budweiser's complaint department must have heard the fans' voices loud and clear, because exactly one year later, Bud Bowl 5 was back to business and better than ever. CGI graphics, celebrity announcers, and even Joe Namath? All right. Of course, who could also forget the Bud Rocket, Neon Bud, and even the Illuminator? In 1994, Bud Bowl 6 would mark the last of the Bud Bowls, but not before adding in Marv Albert, Mike Ditka, and even Bum Phillips? Well, are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna pick it up? Another classic. And even underdog Bud Light managed to win their second Bud Bowl due to some weird outside interference. Yep, just plain weird. Hey! Well, in the years that followed, Budweiser retired the Bud Bowl idea and focused on a new marketing campaign, which would include the soon to be popular Budweiser Frogs. Budweiser. Alright, sports fans, so how do I rate these? Well, I personally enjoyed watching these as a kid, and I anticipated them every year. I'm not sure if it has the same appeal for today's audiences, but these, for one, bring back a lot of good memories for me. So, I'm gonna have to give this one another nostalgic overload. Well, it's been about 20 years now since they've done the last Bud Bowl, and I hope they decide to revisit the concept in the future. But until then, just give me a light. I'm at a Bud Light. Oh boy. Ah, oh, forget it.